Marcel de Sousse is a political analyst from the University of Kiel. We can speak to him now uh, in Hamburg. Marcel, thanks very much for your time. What do you make of this? Thank you very much for having me, Mike. Yeah, I mean, this is a tragedy, but it's a tragedy really beyond the people who are directly affected because this is a very contentious issue in Germany, the way that we're dealing with refugees. And in a society that is already polarized over the issue, this is bound to exacerbate anger and division, quite frankly. And obviously there are several people, victims, who are very ill, but it's refugees also who are going to suffer. Absolutely. Uh, Merkel is closely and personally associated with the policy to have relatively open borders towards refugees. And everything, every time something like this happens, it obviously taints uh, this policy. And the last time that something on this scale happened, uh, it was when allegedly refugees, or at least foreigners, were attacking uh, scores of women uh, on New Year's Eve in Cologne. And this really, uh, this really stepped up criticism of this policy, and we're bound to see this again. And if it is a lone wolf terror attack or something like it, nobody is officially calling that. Of course, people will say it has the marks of that. It's very difficult to stop, isn't it? It is very difficult to stop. But the absolutely most important thing here is to keep calm. Um, the, the, uh, the thing that we shouldn't do is go out of our way to generalize and punish all the refugees or even you know, lump in all Muslims together because that is exactly what these people want. These people want a conflict between their radical version of, of their faith and everybody else. And we must be very careful to look at these individual circumstances and not overreact. Well, yet, even though it's clear that the likes of Islamic State want a sense of a society where Muslims are under attack, where Muslims are victimized, it's quite difficult to get that over to people to make that argument, isn't it, in the face of something like this? Yeah, it is difficult, and uh, especially last year when the system was really overwhelmed because so many refugees entered Germany, it was very difficult to keep track of who exactly we were letting in. And to a certain degree, this goes for many European countries because, as you know, we have the Schengen Zone of free movement in Europe. And given these open borders, we simply couldn't keep track. And just last week it came out that about 9,000 Minors without parents who are refugees in Germany have simply gone off the radar. The authorities do not know what has happened to them or where they are. And this is also the case with a lot of adults. So there's much to be done to improve the system. Just briefly, if you can, quite apart from its possible effect on public opinion, you think there is likely to be a political impact of this? There's definitely going to be a political impact. Uh, this is going to weaken Merkel because, like I said, she's personally associated with the policy. It's going to weaken her abroad. Uh, because people will feel vindicated, uh, but it, but even uh, you know at home it will be an issue. So beyond that, I think uh, the refugee deal with Turkey is going to become more and more important, and this is obviously not a very good time to be reliant on Turkey because Turkey itself is in flux. Marcel, thank you very much.